Hello there everyone and welcome, it is Niran here and today it is time for me to bring you to another FIFA 17 Karimo Top Tips video and today I'm bringing you the fourth part of my best players to buy for Road to Glory career modes. Now these are basically players that you'll be able to buy in RTG career modes um, where they're very young players, they're very cheap players because of that, they're very low rated but they've got high potential so they can grow into very good players when you start to reach the higher leagues in your decided football pyramid. So if you're playing in England and you're starting in League 2, you'll be able to buy these players for like 400k, but they will grow into players that you can then use as well when you get to the Premier League at the end of your road to glory. Now if you do go on to enjoy the video as there's a siren outside, some sort of crime has happened in the general vicinity, but if you do like this video, then of course feel free to hit the likes button, and if you use the channel then make sure to subscribe. The first player though on this list is Coventry central midfielder Ben Stevenson, who I think has recently got an upgrade, because when I first researched players for this series, I didn't find him, but he's got quite good potential, I think it's about 81 or 82, 63 overall at the start of the game and he's 17 years of age I do believe playing for Coventry in League One 77 acceleration 72 sprint speed and 77 balance are his best attributes he's left-footed medium attacking and defensive work rate three star week for three star skill he's actually 19 so I didn't realize that it's got quite a high potential then in that case to say he's 19 you can check all these players out their links will be in the description in terms of their so FIFA profiles if there's anything you want to gauge in terms of potentials or stats nevertheless after that we've got Philip Ox of Hoffenheim 65 overall left midfielder 81 balance 78 agility and 77 and acceleration are his best attributes. Decent physicals page. Uh, to be quite honest with you, there's nothing absolutely dismal on that physicals page. His technicals could be a little bit better, but his ball control and dribbling are pretty good. From Germany, and he's a player that doesn't seem to have decided what position he wants to play in, because apparently he can play as a left mid, a striker, and a left back over in the Bundesliga. From Germany, 19 years of age. Again, I think it's got about 80 or 81 potential, something around that region. Medium attacking and defensive work rate with three-star weak foot and three-star skill moves. Now we move back to English football. We've got the Chelsea right-back, Ola I 63 overall. I get the feeling that this guy is going to get upgraded as this as the game cycle continues because I feel like he's very underrated at the moment. He's still got 79 potential, but he looks like a very good and promising player and one that Conte seems to like. Uh, 79 sprint speed, 78 balance, and 77 acceleration are his best attributes once again. Defensive stats could be a bit better, but he's still, of course, quite young, so you can train those into him. High attacking work rate, quite interestingly. Right-footed from England, playing for Chelsea, 63 overall with three-star weak foot, two-star skill moves. You can pick him up for about £400,000, and right-back sometimes can be quite hard to come by, so he might be someone very good to look at. After that, we've got someone who's very recently been um, included in the game or added to the game. It is Thibaut Vlietink uh, from Club Bruges. Again, sprint speed, acceleration, and balance seem to be the best attributes here. I don't know what's going on. It seems to be quite a trend at the moment. And again, good ball control and dribbling on this guy as well. He's 61 overall with, I think, about 80 potential, 81, something like that. As I mentioned, from Belgium, playing in the Belgian Pro League. 18 years of age, can play on both wings, but he's crucially right-footed. Four-star weak foot, three-star skill moves, as well as medium attacking and defensive work rate. Now, I know he's from a foreign club, so maybe if you're using an English team, you might not want to sign him because it might not be realistic, but I've done four of these videos, and the links will be uh, in the description for all of them, so if you're wanting to find English players alone, scour through all of those and pick out the best English-based players that you can find. Nevertheless, we've got another foreign-based player based in France, so if you're wanting to do a French RTG, maybe you can go for this guy. It is Roman Perrault, uh, or Perrault, I don't know how you pronounce his name, from OGC Nice, yet another youngster playing for that club. 82 balance, 75 agility, as well as very good passing stats, actually, for only an 18-year-old from from France can play as a centre mid or an attacking mid, left footed, medium attacking and defensive work rate with three star weak foot, three star skill moves and he's got pretty decent potential too. I do believe it's about 81. Um, so he's definitely someone to pick up maybe if you can, if you're starting in the French league plus he's pretty young as well. After that we move back to England and we've got the centre back from Manchester City named Cameron Humphreys Grant. Fantastic name on this guy. Um, decent defensive stats but um, a few of them could potentially be you know improved upon especially being interceptions. His jumping's pretty good though for a young player and he's got good balance and accuracy acceleration, which might be useful if you want to play him in his secondary position, which is at right back. He's from England and he's 17 years of age, and he's also pretty tall as well, six foot two. so that combined with his jumping stat should make him very good at defending things in the air when it comes to crosses, etc. Two-star weak foot, two-star skill moves, and then medium attacking and defensive work rate. After that, we've got Adrian or Adrian Bongiovanni. Uh, Bongiovanni, what a name that is, can I just say? Bongiovanni. It's pretty simple when you think about it. 80 balance, he plays for Monaco in 
the Gurn, but as I mentioned, yeah, 80 balance being his main attribute. Decent passing as well, short passing at 70, long passing at 67, finishing ball control and dribbling not too bad as well. Also very recently been added to the game, and also, like a few of the players that you'll see in this video, is from Belgium, but this time based in France. He's only 16 years of age as well. Medium attacking and defensive work rate with four star weak foot and three star skill moves. He's a very good attacking midfielder. Uh, next up, we've got probably the most expensive player in this video. I think you can get him for about three quarters of a million. It is another right back, uh, but if you've got a bit more money than you um, than you maybe first anticipated, then you can go for this guy instead of Ola Aina. It is Trent Alexander-Arnold, the right back from Liverpool, who looks to have a very bright future in real life too. Good sprint speed and acceleration, as well as agility, balance and stamina. Uh, short passing is 76, which is very good for a right back, but as you can see, He's extremely versatile, can play as a right back, centre mid, and as a number 10 in an attacking midfield role. Um, so he again hasn't really decided what type of player he wants to be when he's grown up. Um, but 17 years of age, medium attacking and defensive work rate with three star weak foot, two star skill moves is a little bit disappointing if you're going to play him as an attacking mid, but I suppose it's not too much of an issue. Very all round player there, Trent Alexander Arnold from Liverpool. Next up, we've got another French based player or player based in, Fr in France slash Belgium, which seems to be the case for a lot of the uh, players in this video, is Jeremy. Jelon or Gelon, I don't know how, how to pronounce that name again. I'm terrible at French pronunciations. I, I don't, the thing is, I'm just scared of getting them wrong, but I probably do get them wrong, so I do apologize. 71 jumping is his best attribute from Stade Rene or Rennes in the French league. 19 years of age, can play as a centre back or a CDM. Defensive work rate and attacking rate, uh, work rate are medium, and um, yeah, looks like a very good player actually from France, obviously playing in France. After that, we've got another winger. It is Jonathan Leco or Leco of West Bromwich Albion. 89 acceleration, 89 sprint speed, and 82 agility, so he's a very pacey player, but also one who can skip past players sort of at will. His dribbling maybe needs to improve, be improved just a little bit, but it's still pretty decent. 78 penalties as well, which is quite interesting. 17 years of age, can play on both wings and as a striker from England. 64 overall, got I think 79 potential, but I think that's quite underrated. I think it should be at least 80, given he's played for West Brom senior side quite a few times in the Premier League, so I feel as if that's quite harsh from EA. He might be another one who gets upgraded as the season progresses. Progresses. Next up we've got Gokan Ghoul. He is the penultimate player in this video. 82 jumping is his standout attribute really. 70 balance as well isn't too bad for a 59 overall centre back. He plays for VFL Bochum who, if correct me I'm wrong, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, even play in the second Bundesliga, aka the second tier of German football. Uh, 17 years of age, from Germany, can play as a uh, centre-back or a CDM. High defensive work rate, which is always useful for that type of player. Two-star weak foot and three-star skill moves, and his potential's about 79 or 80 again, much like it was last year. When he was on the game at only 16, I think he was one of the youngest players on the entire game. Um, nevertheless, the final player on this video is Terry Osai Burko, another winger from Club Bruges, actually. Um, there seems to be a lot of Belgian players added to the game in the last few weeks, but this this is another one, and another winger at that. 76 agility and 73 balance. One thing that is quite a shame is his pace is awful. Apparently he is a lot quicker than this in real life, but he's not been rewarded with that on the game. 60 overall, again about 80 potential, 18 years of age, from Belgium, 3 star weak foot, 3 star skill moves, medium and attacking, medium attacking and defensive work rate, there we go, and decent passing and crossing stats as well. But he might be someone that you don't necessarily want to buy in the first season. You might want to wait till he's grown a little bit, just so that maybe those, those sprints speed and acceleration stats can go up because obviously growth for um, for players is very overpowered in the physical sense when players are other teams. So you might want to leave it a season or two maybe if you're still in League 1 if you're doing an English road to glory in the second season he might still only be worth like 1 million. You might want to go in from then and he should be a little bit more pacey but at the start of the career mode he's not so much. If you're not looking for pace, if you're just looking for a backup winger or maybe someone to play in a different position you know, then he might be worth a shot or you can try and train him in his passing so that he's actually good at playing as a centre mid. You can obviously mould players very well when they're that young you know what I'm saying so um, nevertheless that's my rant about Terry Os Osai Burko done um, nevertheless if you have enjoyed this video then of course feel free to hit the likes button if you've got any other favorite players that you like using in Road to Glories then drop them in the comment section as well I'd love to hear them maybe I can make a fifth one of these although I seem to be running out of players for now but again if you guys have got any suggestions then drop them in the comment section below it's been a pleasure though ranting at you guys today have a great day enjoy yourselves and goodbye I got no